in the quiz. Now we move to our next program uh, on this presentation on negotiate by not negotiating. I hope you all would have very much impressed with this title. But let us see what is there in store for us for the next two hours. So to help us to negotiate effectively, we have with us today Mr. Vijay Basavaraj, who comes with 40 years of experience in the corporate world, having worked in companies like Pfizer, Laurel, NIIT, spread across different industries and sectors. His experience in these industries has made him to believe that it is the people who make an organization and once the people are taken care of, any business will grow. So this belief made him to come to training sector whereby he is consistently supporting the staff or manpower of organizations through his employment enhancement programs. He is basically an NLP trainer. He has advanced diploma in NLP. He trains the employees of various organizations on behavioral skills, sales and business management. I thought you will give a right answer when Jayant asked you a question because one of his hobbies is numismatics, that is collection of coins. I hope today you have a coin to collect. Apart from collecting the coins, he is also has keen interest in philately and painting. His hobbies includes all these and also keen interest in playing chess and is an avid reader. He is basically an alumni of IIM Calcutta and he did masters in business management from Karnataka University. So friends, please join me in welcoming Mr. Vijay Basaraj. Over to you, sir. Okay, I'm audible. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Thanks for a great introduction. First of all, I'm honored to stand here. I have attended the same kind of a program, I think, uh, four years back, three, four years back, so I have attended as a uh, participant. Uh, as privilege, Mr. Suresh allowed me to participate. I think it was an open program on that time. Yeah. So I participated, and uh, Neeti is the one who collected the money. <laughs> I remember it, Neeti. <laughs> yeah. So let's, please come. So when you see the title, negotiate, negotiate by not negotiating, what do you think? What comes to your mind? Basic? Basic ethics, my God, that's a very big word, uh, undigestible, at least in... <laughs> Win-win situation. Mm. That's right. Nudge. Yeah, ma'am. Um, nudge somebody without saying anything. Nudge, so. nudge. Okay, nudge somebody without saying. saying. So nudge, nudge has a, some negative connotation. No, it's very positive. <laughs> Something like Senju, the art of war. Okay. Winning the war book. Now, nowadays, a lot of art and a lot of words. <coughs> we don't know which one to use. <laughs> Everybody is coming with art and word titles. Yeah. What else? Negotiate within, within the limits. Negotiate within the limits, okay? Give, give value. Give value. Okay. Take actions which don't need negotiations at the later. Take action, they don't need negotiation. I like that answer. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that experience speaks. Either day. <laughs> <laughs> You don't tell out your terms, you know, you rather try to get the terms from the other side. Don't tell out your terms, um, okay. But nowadays, tell me, uh, the transparency is so much nowadays. Do you think that is possible in nowadays? Okay. You won't even communicate whether you are fine with what is being offered to you or not. Okay. So, you that know, that you way. Way. So, so without, without speaking, you are saying? Yeah. So without putting your terms across to the other party. Let them open. Let them open. Will they? No. 
Somebody should open up the day. It's about both using Until person. and unless it is recording, but I would take risk. Until and unless Rahul Gandhi sits in front of you. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> Sorry, cut <laughs> Kardosko. <laughs> so he has from Googling he has made a statement. So we are making a statement from here. <laughs> Sir. Create value proposition or uh, have a create a brand so that uh, there is nothing left for the other person to negotiate. There is nothing left. Value proposition are ethical issues. So when you say nothing left, put us snatch everything and leave him high and dry. No, the value proposition is such that it's very appealing to the other person. Okay, okay. It considers the, con it certainly considers what is required by the other person. Okay. Or give more than what is uh, supposed to be, then there is no need to negotiate. Sir. More than the request. Do you put yourself in the position that people desire to deal with you? Okay. Desire to deal with you, okay. So that then. That's a pretty close. It's very simple to provide the value proposition, make it a win-win, because yeah. give us so much a demand that you're the best. There's no negotiating, negotiation there. Mm, I, I definitely agree with your first part. Second part is a bit tricky. <laughs> but possible. I mean, many people are doing like that. Right? I mean, that is uh, that is possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So create a brand for yourself. Create a brand for yourself. What else? Negotiating by not negotiate by not negotiating. I really thought a lot before putting this because I always believe until unless you say something in one sentence or in one word, anything, take anything. If you are not able to define it in one word or one sentence, it means that it calls for furthermore dwelling into the subject. So it means that I have not got the clarity yet. So whenever I read something, whenever I talk of any subject, if I am not able to articulate in one, is it echoing? Okay. If I am not able to articulate in one sentence or, mag, or one word or maximum one sentence, it means that a lot of work to be done. Yeah. So that was a, that was a thought process behind you know putting this, and believe me, I have taken a risk. Uh, um, by the request of Mr. Suresh that a topic which is supposed to be covered in three days, <laughs> okay, I am, I have taken a risk to cover it in 90 minutes and uh, ki uh, kind enough from his side that he, he extended by 30 minutes <laughs> from 8 to 8.30. But bear with me, uh, let me see how much uh, I can justify this. I am sure after at the end of this session, I will promise you that you will get certain concepts, you will get certain hands on practical things which you can uh, start putting into practice from now. That I can assure you. Because from the spectrum of negotiation, it is a, it's a very vast topic. So my task was which one to choose, what to discuss in this 90 minute, yeah, 90 or you can say 120 minutes. So let's start. How many of you are married here? Please, please raise your hand. Keep it. Keep your hand up. I would like to see. Okay, you still want to learn negotiation? You are not experienced negotiator. I think my experience in that faculty is very minuscule compared to you. Yeah, but there it is separate, you know. One will be negotiating, the other will not be negotiating. <laughs> so that was my next question. <laughs> as per my that's why I said, as per my observation, after the marriage, one will become, one will achieve an excellence in a, uh, negotiation, and one will completely lose it. 
and with the permission of all the ladies here, uh, let me make this statement. The husband will completely lose it. <laughs> and the wife will achieve the excellence in negotiation. Am I true? Am, am I right? Yeah, How many of you? Who do you have to answer? If you are married between 0 to 5 years, in that bracket, the guy is confused and he is wondering where I failed in negotiation. Yeah, and anybody who is about 10 years is completely lost it. <laughs> yeah, the jokes apart, okay, this anyhow, sir has done, I thought this may be, okay, I would like to uh, talk on this. What is this? Uh, yeah, this picture denotes to you. What it communicates to you? Appreciation. Acknowledgement, acknowledgement, appreciation, acknowledgement, acknowledgement applauding, applauding congratulating. congratulating. Do you agree that we have forgotten to appreciate? We have forgotten to, we have forgotten the art or the war of acknowledgement or the appreciation. How many of you agree with me? And if you further think, whom we have forgotten to appreciate? Better half. Better half? Closer, near and dear, then parents, parents. parents. ourselves. Please give her a big hand. <laughs> See, we have forgotten to appreciate ourselves. How many of you agree with this statement? And how do you appreciate if anybody, if you have to appreciate somebody else, how do you appreciate? Oh, like that. <laughs> how do you appreciate? Suppose you had need to appreciate. What you can appreciate in me now? Any reason? Well dressed. So if you had to appreciate that, how do you do it? Or anything for that matter? Saying, so like she gave a good answer. So how did you appreciate? So how do you appreciate? Body language. Expression. So can you demonstrate how do you appreciate? That is what I am looking at. Sir is sitting like this and he, this is how he because in negotiation, why, why I, I stopped at this picture is acknowledging and appreciating is an important step or the part of negotiation. Without that, you cannot negotiate. You can only snatch. You cannot negotiate without acknowledgement or without appreciation. So it is a very important step in the appreciation which uh, negotiation which we will discuss further. So in one word or one sentence, how do you define it? In one word or one sentence, how do you define it? Bargain, making other man feel important, okay. Wow, sir, I will be, I will be miles apart from you. <laughs> Sorry? Having a backup plan. Okay. In one word or in one sentence, what is it? In give and take. Give and take. Okay. Essence. I am looking at essence of it. As I told you, I always look for this. Mutually beneficial. Mutually beneficial. That's a result. See, many of the time we 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 define this. We we con get confused with the process and the result. So most of the time we are talking of a result, 
impress impress gratitude impress upon the value proposition or whatever is the okay a sense of gratitude a sense of gratitude partnering partnering anybody any other because if you understand this part at least this one uh, i would take a risk of telling it at least 30 to 40 percent you have understood the negotiation it's very important part so showing them that we deserve it showing them we deserve it okay listening well, who's listening listening okay definitely that's a very crucial thing i partly agree with you so if you ask me with uh, whatever the experience <coughs> I have, I always define negotiation as a communication with purpose. Does it make sense? A communication with purpose because most of the time we are doing this. In a day, how many hours we do this? When we are sleeping at that time we are not doing, otherwise 24 hours we are doing this. Am I right? So let me show you a small video and start the discussion from there. We have to collect the audio tape. That's interesting because it sure seemed that way the other night at homebrew. You think that's the first stop that we made? We've been all over the valley. Oh, well, then you already have a retailer. I got offers. Look, Paul. My middle name's Paul. My dad's name's Paul. A bunch of Pauls. I, I think we're kindred spirits here. We're both businessmen that operate from our gut. And my gut tells me to give you this opportunity. I'm thinking 400 per machine for 50 units paid at the time of delivery. 400 for 100 units, a third up front. We're not negotiating. Yes, we are. Space for us to shake in here like this tune. So what kind of investment are we talking about? Jesus, Steve. I said I was interested, not buying. I know. I doubt my reply would be interesting for you to hear. Because I have But you're also not the only interested party. Oh, really? I'm not? No, you're not. Hmm, that's interesting, because it sure seemed that way the other night at Homebrew. You think that's the first stop that we made? We've been all over the valley. Oh, well, then you already have a retailer. I got offers. Look, Paul. I'd rather dance, I'd rather dance than talk with you. My middle name's Paul. My dad's name's Paul. A bunch of Pauls. I'm, I think we're kindred spirits here. We're both businessmen that operate from our gut. And my gut tells me to give you this opportunity. The music's too loud and the noise from the crowd increases the chance of misinterpretation. So I'm thinking 400 per machine for 50 units, paid at the time of delivery. Four hundred for a hundred units, a third up front. We're not negotiating. Sorry for the technical glitch, I think uh, there, after each conversation there were uh, comments there, I mean that would have made a sense but anyhow, uh, the idea was to how many, how many of uh, you could get something out of it, 
I don't think it's, it was a pretty bad in terms of conveying the point because it was not visible. Any any points which you, especially those who are sitting nearby, so the onus is on you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, conversation between Steve Jobs and his client. It is from the Steve Jobs movie. Anything which you got out of it? Okay. Price then? Persistence at which he goes back then. Confidence, yes, confidence was there. Creating of interest. Creating of interest, of course it was there. If you observe the Paul, the other guy, yeah, please. Fear of missing out. Sorry? Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out, yes, of course it was. <coughs> if you observe the Paul say, I am not negotiating. Yeah? When he says, I am not negotiating, what actually is doing? Negotiating. He's actually, Steve John smartly has put the guy into negotiation, and the guy thinks, the other guy thinks he's not negotiating. But he's already halfway through the negotiation. So that, that is actual negotiation. So that was the point to be conveyed, but sorry for that. Uh, technically, technical glitches sometime. So a negotiation in another way, what we can think is, it's like a wall. Like it's a two parties, one party is here, another party is there, it's a wall. And this wall is made up of bricks. And what these bricks in this context denotes are my needs or my points. So it is made up of his needs and his points and my needs and my points. Now it is between the two party. So ultimately the passage has to be made. That is where your negotiation is successful. right? You have to pass through that wall. And it is up to us whether I will allow to remove my bricks or I will convince him to remove his bricks. So whoever is smart enough will get through that and whoever is smart enough to convince him to remove his bricks or her bricks will succeed. right? So we always have to keep that in mind. So every, as many of you said, there is a give and take, like Sir was saying there is a give and take. So what to give and what to take is up to you. Yeah? But today I am not focusing on the result. Believe me, I am nothing, I mean I am least bothered about the result. What I am interested in the process, how do I do it? So that is what I will discuss. As I told you, the negotiation is a big spectrum, right? So I have chosen a soul of it to discuss here in next 90 minutes. Yeah. We will discuss two aspects. One is how to, we will we'll understand what is R and C. As I told you, you will be able to use it immediately from now, now itself. So let us start this with a discussion. So imagine uh, or recall a scenario where last time whether you agreed or you made somebody agree immediately. Has it happened? Yes. So is there a marker sir if you can use it? It is okay if it is not there it is okay do not take trouble. Do not take trouble sir if it is not there. So what, what is that? Anybody can volunteer? Sitting there only, I will not call you, do not worry. You need to recall a particular instance and we will discuss around it. Any instant? One instant I want, sir. Many instant we will. <laughs> that is a tricky one. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we will take that, we will take risk of taking it. <laughs> so what what this if I take that conversation of that context, what it is made up of, what it includes, what is the configuration of that context? Because they are agreeing with you immediately. So do not worry about framework for negotiation. One thing I request you forget negotiation, negotiation is out of this room. 
okay let us discuss as we discuss right normal normal discussion let it be a discussion tell me sir no I want one points by points what was there like for example when you say it is your subordinate of course there is a protocol or there is a answerability accountability so like that I want a points so one is accountability is there what else I mean it's very, uh, that's what I was uh, trying to tell you, it's, it's not actually that complex, it's very simple uh, from my point of view, it's like this. So they have to deliver something and either they are lacking or they, they know how to do it and then I just say you do it and then they do it, uh, so, most of the time. So correct. So you I don't know how you will now. Sir, you are an expert, so when you say yeah. do it, you do it, yeah. but many of us are feel it difficult when we say do it, we do not do it. No, that's so, that is what we want to understand what is the structure of that, so, uh, so that we can implement in our day to day life. So, if you can help us to elaborate that. It could be that uh, they know what I am saying is the right They know thing. what you are saying, next. Yeah. So, Accountability is there, I they know. know. So, when you say they know, can I replace it by understanding? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, so uh, one is I mean, accountability, another is understanding, what next? So they have a, let us uh, say they have very uh, small no, amount of time. It is his case, I, I want him to elaborate. Yeah. So they have a very small amount of time with them. It is not that you know they can take so many days to do it, they have to do, do it quickly. So they just go by their instinct that what Narendra is saying the right thing to do, so I just go ahead and do it and then most of the so time. So when they do think, it. let me artic help, help, uh, help you to articulate it. Sure. When they say when Narendra, uh, when Narendra is saying let us do it, so what it denotes according to you, what is there? He is an expert yes. then? Confidence. Con no, no, what is that? You know, what the relation is? Authority. authority. No, here it is not authority. <laughs> expert, expert is there then? Professional. Professional. Then one very, very. Uh, no, knowledgeable. Yeah, of course, expert, knowledgeable. Confident. There is no choice also. <laughs> 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 we are not They are penalizing. They are penalizing the data. So we don't want to. So, so when, when somebody says, for Narendra now, when somebody says that as you are telling me, sir, I will do it. So what is there between you and me? Trust, 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 trust. Right? So one is accountability, another is trust. Then expert. They think he is an expert. Then what else? Communication. Sorry. Communication. Communication. Clarity of the problem. Clarity of what to do. What to do? Thank you. So, expert is an expert, they think, then trust, yeah. Communication. If you are taken your case, if I taken your case, it will be true. But we are discussing his case. He only knows what it is. <laughs> See, this is what we do. You know? This is the classic example of our. Uh, I am taking again this in front of camera Indian mentality. It is his case. We will we'll go by his wording. So because we do not know actually what has happened See, there. If I am reporting to him, I have no choice. But are you? No, I am not <laughs> But are you? Because hypothetically, we will not go anywhere. No, it is actually very simple. Trust has to be, it will be tested every day. You know, if I give them a few days, it will not work for them. Third day, they will not trust me. Exactly, no, exactly. No, I agree with you, sir. I agree with you. One time, two time, they will trust. Next time, it is not working, they will come back to it. Because Definitely they are not, they also have some intelligence, right? Am I right, sir? Yesterday they are trying to optimize What else? Okay. So, good, sir. Thank you for that uh, example. Please give him a big hand. So, like this, if, uh, if any scenario has to smoothly, ha I mean, any negotiation has to go smoothly, what are the factors involved like this? Need, okay. Urgency, need, yeah. Specifics of delivery, okay. Again, need, yeah. I am looking at a sole uh, 
soul of this for example trust communication are the soul of this responsibility okay following the leader open to neg open minded okay open minded open minded clarity relationship or correct wrap up expectation reliability expert sorry obliged okay so i think we have taken enough points right if you can replicate these things in any scenario in any of your negotiation activity it will happen immediately am i right there may be laundry list like this yeah sometime sometime certain points will applicable sometime certain points may not be applicable but this is the configuration of your negotiation in that this part i would say this is the heading of this entire process communication how many of you agree with this yeah so today we going to discuss how to build this or this with the help of communication are you with me in this yeah so we'll more discuss on the communication and when we say communication we have our own perception we'll come to that point what exactly yeah yeah so there is no i mean i don't know so let uh, can you define the communication is it what what kind of wow good <laughs> thanks sir thanks for that question so can you define the communication because you have preempted my yeah because i would like to yes, say yes yes I, i agree with you sir give me a big hand for asking that question see these are the things right trust relation mutual interest right so this is the chemistry of your negotiation sir no problem so i'll come to you sir we'll come to that point how to recreate this each time every time all the time yeah sorry i didn't wait for you i already wrote language or the communication with your help of language or the communication you can each and every time you can recreate it there are three parts to it we'll discuss what exactly these three parts are please we'll come to that sir thanks for asking that question definitely we'll cover it yeah so what is communication sir your point you read my ppt by any chance i i love i love such questions which gets into the bottom of the subject so what is communication exchange or the ideas yes yes conveying that can happen through gun also but is that is part of communication sir <laughs> yeah that's true it's happening he is right it's happening all the all all, all across yeah you remember uh, what i said in the beginning to to understand any subject what is the measurement no if you had to understand how to uh, how to measure that i have understood a subject or not one word or one sentence right so what is that one word here you i am not i am expecting one sentence i am expecting one word word what sorry message should be sent message should be sent that will never happen sir believe me how many yeah, 
every second you are sending a message to your wife is going. <laughs> See, I am not sending now. It means that it tells a lot. What we call in uh, psychology is there are something called meta model. Meta model contains a lot of meaning into it. Big chunks. Yeah. It's a very big chunk. I am not sending now. It means that there is a pages of history to it. Mm -hmm. Am I right? He doesn't realize in one word is yes. Yes, we are. That's true. Right? So what is communication? <coughs> in one word. Connection. Connection, okay. Exchange of ideas. <coughs> Getting the job done. Getting the job done, that's what I told you. Comprehend. Gun. Gun. It can be, correct? Mutual understanding. Mutual understanding. Mutual understanding. Not mutual. One word I'm looking at. Mutual understanding, two words. <laughs> it may not be mutual understanding. Why? Communication is, you know, being understood. Being understood, two words. words. Understand or not? <coughs> I am making just understand. Understand. You completed one page now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. One word I'm looking at. Maybe I will use two words. Being understood. Clarity. Consensus. 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 That is the result of it. I agree. See, many of the time, as I told you, the, the result will be kind of confused with the process. I mean, I mean, if we were discussing the other topic which he proposed me earlier, the problem solving, then we would have discussed the difference between the symptoms and the problems. Problem, many of the time, we get confused with the symptoms. Same here also, the result and the process. Making the other person act, action. One Making, one. 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 Making one. the other person act, sir, I have done. Will you act or not? Anybody will act. That's a communication. That's a communication? Of course. No. Yes, I agree with you. Because you are going to have to agree. Understand. After? Understand. Understand. Okay. So let me give my answer, then you check whether it convinces you or not, or it conveys you or not, you just check. Yeah. As for my experience, yeah and how the communi communication process goes. And believe me, I mean, I always remember in mind, when you are communicating, the responsibility of communication lies with whom? The communi communicator, always. Yeah? And who is the communicator? No. Person is not communicating with the communicator. Who is the communicator? No. Who is the communicator? We, when you say we, you are taking your neighbors, you are calling people, everybody. So who is the negotiator? Uh, sorry, who is the... I. 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 When you say we, that is what is happening in India. We are responsible. We don't know who are all responsible. <laughs> Until unless we change it to... Language is... I am telling you, language... Language can change your life. From tomorrow onwards, everybody starts saying, I am responsible. India will change in one year, I am telling you. But most of us say, we, we, we. That is why it is not changing. I will come to the point. Yeah. So, I is what? So, communication lies with the communicator. And the, who is the communicator? I am the communicator. Always go with this notion. And whatever we are speaking today, in next 60 minutes or 90 minutes, please take it from that perspective. It is not that from tomorrow you will go and say, you are a bad negotiator. No. We are, we are not here to certify somebody a bad, bad negotiator or a good negotiator. We are here to how it is applies to me, right? So that is a perspective I would request you to take it. In one word, according to me, it is listening. Somebody said from that corner. Who said it? Yeah, you said it, right? Listening. How many of you agree? To how many people it is convincing? I think... 70%. So, who, to whom it is not convincing? <laughs> to, to sir, it is not convincing. <coughs> so, be with that sir, be with your answer, right? So, let us see at the end of a session what will happen. Yeah. So, according to me, the, the, the soul of the communication, the definition of the communication is listening. Because without listening, you will never ever able to communicate. And mind you, when I am saying listening, it is not hearing. So, if you think it is hearing, definitely your answer is right, sir. 
yeah so it is listening and we'll understand how to listen there is a process to listen and most of the time we are hearing not even hearing actually we are not even hearing our wife will keep saying us in the home in, the, in all our family members will keep saying us especially wife we'll go there we'll go there hard we'll go tomorrow today we'll go tomorrow we'll go to tomorrow right one day she is packing a bag we hear the zip sound zip <laughs> then we listen actually what happened what happened i'm going to my mom's place why you know the answer she says then we start listening yes am i right so sorry listening with attention yeah partly agree with you sir <laughs> so good negotiator is a listener that is why we are discussing it yeah if you have to be a good communicator you have to listen until unless you listen you cannot co communicate and until unless you communicate you cannot be a good negotiator how many of you agree with this yes so we'll we'll understand how to communicate today and not just for negotiation you can use it in your day to day life also and within the relations right with your near and dear if you apply this i'm telling you from tomorrow onwards your life will change forever positively provided you apply it and it's not hard to apply it is not difficult to apply but you have to be aware of it that's all it's very simple easy but you have to be aware that you are not applying it what i started when i when i few minutes back what i told you when i when i uh, i gave you a caution kind of a caution when you are learning this you learn it from whose perspective because that is what when once we start certifying others there is no end to it there is no end to it because we don't know the full story of what is happening in his mind right that's why i gave you a caution this is what there is nothing wrong in what he has asked this is the pitfall this is the pitfall of a human behavior and this is how we don't learn whatever we need to learn because we are interested in what is happening other side rather than this side yeah are you ready to take accountability of this side okay thank you so how to listen <laughs> how to listen by questioning that's good way of listening i'm not thinking of what i'm going to what to say before what we because the very often correct correct he is such a very good point sir yeah please very often when i'm listening to the person i'm already thinking of what to say back to him yes instead of waiting for him to come back so And listen to understand not to ask am i right sir yes yes, sir. yes? yes. so most of the time we are listening to ask is okay so say i will ask the next question so that i can catch him am i right yes so if we listen that way it is not listening at all and it will no end nowhere and it only the conflict happens and frictions happens and that is why most of us go tiring at home back you know why because we are doing this we are interested in this so until unless we start doing this listen to understand nothing will happen nothing good will happen yeah so first thing is give attention to what is said yeah to extend you can say hearing but hearing is very superficial when attentively listen like you said right sir <coughs> attentively listen what he is saying give your focus complete focus we'll understand how to give that also then acknowledge by nodding nodding or you can say in between yes somebody is speaking right so you can nod you can give a your non verbal like he said somebody from this side said right so non verbal consent you need to give yeah until unless you give a non verbal like you are nodding 
then I understand that you are listening to me at least, you are giving attention. If somebody is yawning, I feel <laughs> I have to check my skills of uh, delivery. <laughs> yeah. So I, I always look from this perspective, what is wrong with me? If somebody is yawning, something wrong with me, not the other person. Yeah. Ask questions, somebody from this side said, ask questions, yeah, ask questions. But this question should be relevant questions, we will understand how to ask those also. Yeah. Then paraphrase, then we have to paraphrase. So take any conversation in your day to day life, any conversation, how it goes, how much of these steps do you practice? Hardly, only, only few, if only few I will be happy sir. Try to reproduce whatever the uh, important points in this course and say that have I understood it correctly. So if you are doing it fantastic but if, if it is happening as a MOM then it is not the right way of doing it. Yeah, and it is not the end of this, okay. It has, sorry, it has to be at a crucial level of conversation, communication. Then it makes a sense. <coughs> like as you were saying, sir was saying, you are only listening, listening, listening and the other party does not know, it is wondering what is happening in your mind. That also should not happen from our side, yeah. So why to give attention? So I said give attention, why to give attention? Why should I give attention? This is a spectrum of negotiation, there are many, we are discussing one part, okay, there are many parts here and many parts here, yeah. So as, uh, what was your answer sir, that triggered me this, to make, him to open up. Haan, to make him to open up, when you, we are talking when you are exactly sitting in front of him, when you are sitting in front of, there are many activities you need to do it before this and after this, we are not talking of those, without that negotiation is not complete, but this is the soul of the negotiation and this is where most of us fail, this we know what to do, this we know what to do, yeah. So we are talking of this, so we are sitting in front of him, right, so we need to allow him to open up and there is a way to allow him to open up which we will discuss, thanks for that point sir. No, we will understand. party, I will get a cues to what to communicate, how to communicate, in what way I should do it. So a lot of cues you will give, yeah. If I had to, I mean it is so, it is so uh, in depth a subject, it may take a six day program for me to communicate or uh, completely convey you that, yeah? but in a very brief manner we are doing it here. Certain points, your question sir. So, uh, let's suppose that you know, both of us are equally skilled in negotiation, maybe yeah. both of us have got trained, trained from you, 
but it will become a cat and mouse killed that means, sir. Yeah. So, uh, it will become a cat and mouse game, right? No, it will uh, not. That is what we are discussing. So See, if it is a cat and mouse game, it is not a negotiation, I am telling you. So then, uh, I think, you know, his point would lead to that, that, you know, get the cues. He will also be trying to get the cues from me. Let him do. See, that's what I am saying. See, but I the pitfall here is... is no, but I think the, the, the basic thing... <coughs> sir, I as I told you, the, the spectrum of negotiation learning is too huge. We are discussing one point here. Uh, that is my point. My what point, I can do. My point is not about that. My point is about giving attention. So I think you know, it's the, first of all, let me say that it's a basic courtesy that I should explain. explain. No, definitely not. It is not basic courtesy. We are not here to give courtesy and all that. Definitely not, sir. Your point is valid. He will also do it. Let him do it. We are not discussing that today in this topic. Otherwise, I, you, if you are okay, we can sit here up to 12 o'clock or maybe 1 o'clock and discuss that also. You understand what I am trying no, to say? No, your point is valid. I take your point. What I am trying to say is, to, to our today's discussion, that is out of the topic. But that is a valid point. I agree with you. Yes, yes, yes. Am I able to communicate, sir? I am sorry if I... I am sorry because I can see. This is what it is. See, when he is looking at it, I am calibrating his face. Okay? This is called giving attention. I am calibrating his face. I am calibrating his eyes movement. I am calibrating the way he is sitting and trying to understand there is still doubt in him. And if you give attention, it is very easy. I don't disagree with giving attention, by right? But if we try to give attention like the mechanics you explained, I think you know it will lead us. It's, it's going to be an acting show than actually trying to. If I'm if I'm wrong, then you know you should correct me. However, I'm wrong. If if there are two actors, two good actors, and then they can do this, but then finally negotiation won't happen. That's what I said. Sir. That's what I I, I I don't know whether I'm able to communicate to you properly or not. The negotiation, the spectrum of the subject is so vast and. Definitely that is the point, what you said is valid. Your point is valid, I take your point. But if you do it that way, then it is not negotiation or it is not, I mean you are not skillful enough to do it. It should not be like a, for, for say, it should not be like a uh, uh, acting, when you are doing a conversation, if it is looking like an acting to other person, then you are not a natural communicator. You just watch uh, either any of the U.S. president speak speech. Yeah, so how beautifully they do it. When they say certain positive words, suppose they have to say nation. They, you know, how do they say nation? They say nation. The hand goes here. The nation. If they have to say democracy, they'll say democracy. These are a very subtle body language which will give a subtle command to your subconscious mind which you will not even know. As I told you, it is a huge subject. As I told you, the to analyze somebody's language, it may, it easily it will take 6, 7 days for me to explain you. It is a huge subject, huge subject. What we are discussing is a point which are relevant to us today. Agreed? Yeah? Because we need to calibrate and understand the person for communicating, not for anything else. How many of you know this? Madam knows this. How many of you knows this? So, what is this? Exactly. Yeah. So, it is visual auditory kinesthetic. So, what it means? It is every, 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 everyone's part of the language actually. But only things will appear to different people's thoughts. Okay. Let, thanks, sir. Thanks for saying that. Different things will appeal to different people. So, what part it was? It was where that sentence of him, was it V, A, K? K. Huh? K. A. K. 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 Exactly, it was K. Why it was K? No, connecting. connecting then? 
Yes. Feel, appeal. So when you look at this level, what the other person is saying, because when somebody is saying appeal, if I say, sir, look at this point, sir, when you are sitting in front of, when you say look at this point, in his head you will not able to look at that, because he is a kinesthetic person. You have to modify your language by calibrating his language, you have to bring the words which are mirror to him, because everybody has a map and a territory, it is a big topic again. He has his own map. So, I really do not know what appeals means in his map, but I have to literally match what he is saying. It does not mean, it should not happen like what sir also said, it should not become an acting class, but it is not that every sentence you will use this. Sparingly one or two you use it, it will hit his subconscious mind, it will convince his subconscious mind so beautifully. And that is what is called calibration, that is what I mean when you give attention. Many other points are there, this is one of the points, thanks for that sentence sir. That is what I said, when I said it is very easy, you have to be aware, that is what I started, it is very easy, but if you are aware, you will not able to do it immediately, but if you are aware, you will start noticing it, choose one thing to observe, like today you will see, only I will see what are, who are we who comes under V, tomorrow I will see who comes under A, next day K. So by that time you will train yourself, when you are sitting in front of your customer, you will exactly know what appeals him. There are many other points, not just this point. If this point is not coming in calibration, you can use something else. Are you with me in this? Is it interesting? Yeah? Is it interesting or not? Yes. Thank you. It is a bit heavy subject by the way, okay. And 90 minutes what sir has given, I am trying to. So, visual person usually what they will say is, I can see that. How many of you say many of them, I can see that? Yeah, I can see that. When somebody is saying I can see that, it is clearly visual person. And it does not mean that he will be fixed visual, it will be oscillating many of the time. You need to understand at what time what he is, when he is sitting in front of you, what he is coming as across to you, that is what you have to look at. We are not here to analyze his personality, not at all. For that context, we need to understand what he is coming up as, up, uh, coming across to you, right. So, any example for uh, auditory? I, I hear you or I can, I got it, no. <coughs> Have you heard this? It sounds good. Yeah. Mm. Sounds good. When your boss is saying it sounds good, and you go with sir, see this is very good. You say there is no connection happening. This is a very subtle I am telling you. And these are the well-researched subject. These are the well-researched subject. What would be K? We have already taken one example. Make sense. Make sense. Feel it. It feels good. Or somebody says it's very hard. Like you are, many of the time you are uh, client may say it's very hard for me to arrange money. Have you heard this? Yes. So you have to carefully calibrate. You will be oscillating, right? You have to use all the tools. This is one of the tools I am discussing. There are many tools like this. Any doubt so far in whatever we have discussed till now? So, are you saying that we will respond differently to each of them? Exactly. <coughs> Your meaning will remain same, but we will try to, we will come to that, we will something called mirroring, matching, right. You will mirror and match his words, or you will use those words. When somebody said, like, we will summarize, who said it? Paraphrase. paraphrase. In the paraphrase, you have to use this because most of the pa time paraphrase we use our own words and it does not appeal to him. Why does not appeal? Because we have not given the attention to his words, attention to his personality, attention to what kind of mood he is now. So, it is a very 
important tool in paraphrasing. Like my wife says, it sounds good if I go and say a visual sentence, it may not appeal to her. Right? And this is where the conflict starts. Please, sir. How do I remove the cliches when, you know, for example, in the, in the five minutes conversation? Sorry, five? In the five minutes conversation. Five minutes conversation. Yeah. Somebody says ten times that it sounds good. So, I mean, should I take it at face value or should I say that you know, it's something, you know, he's, he's, he's saying something he's actually saying. So if he's ten times he's saying sounds good, it's very clear he's an auditory person. So, then you have to, you have to change your conversation with him accordingly. I mean, it, it looks like it's very simple in this case. Definitely it is simple. That's what I am saying. It is very, these are not a complicated thing. It's very simple. But he is giving you a clue of what personality he is at that point of time. He is giving you a clue what appeals to him at that point of a time. And by that point of a time, he is behaving as an auditory person. And you try to give a point in a different way. It may appeal, it may not appeal. You are taking a chance. Sir. Could you give a couple of examples or one example of how the conversation go for each of these? So someone says, I can see that or I can hear that. Uh, I would love to have given it. Just one or two lines. No, no. One or two lines, are, that's why I gave you an example. Ah. These things. But actual conversation would allow, if it is a one day program, would have showed you the actual conversation, how it is happening, how the other person is calibrating. And that is why we do a two or three days program on this, which is actually coming next month, October. First, second, third. If somebody is interested, please join. I'm a good salesman. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> see, I see that. <laughs> so you definitely see a lot of good things, sir. <laughs> you definitely see a lot of good things. It will be one of the best memory. I mean, we'll create the best memory for you if you attend that program. You got it. Sure. You got it, now? Huh? Sure. <laughs> sure, actually, see, you sure was real sure. Yeah. So this was a conversation actually. When you say C, I use the C to create a memory for you. So when I say memory, you saw it. <coughs> Correct? When I say memory, you saw it. This is how you have to use it. This is how you have to calibrate the person. And as somebody said, it is easy but very difficult to practice it because we are not used to it. We are just used to say whatever we think correct. Yeah? A little bit of shift in your conversation, communication, I am sure you will be a very good a master of this subject. A little bit of shift. Just awareness that what you are speaking, you have to be aware what is happening in front of you, that is all. Just be aware, just be there. Most of the time we are not there. When the client is speaking, what all comes to you, like the sir was saying there, I am looking at or I am thinking of what next question I can ask him or what next point I can make him. If you do with that, if you do the conversation with that attitude, you will miss all these points. He is actually opening his, his personality in front of you and giving you and you will miss it. Do not don't worry about asking, do not worry about <laughs> Sorry? So, you know, the, in that, um, so that, yeah, that comes with the practice, I am telling you, it will not happen, but I am telling you, you can immediately try, you can start applying it from today. To get a mastery out of it, you definitely take a time. But what I can, what I can tell you is that you can start immediately. Like, I, I, as I am speaking, you can start observing me. You, start, you can start calibrating me. What kind of word I am using? Am I a visual? Am I a auditory? Am I a kinesthetic? That itself will give you a mastery. No, no, awareness will give us a lot of points. And uh, I started writing journal also while talking. Instead of you know, in between asking, try out all the important points. Yes, sir. You can do that. You can, do that. Later on, you can use it in the paraphrasing or in the summary. Am I able to communicate properly? Yes. Yeah? Yes,
So, the most powerful tool of communication is mirroring the next point. So, we you understood how to listen, what are you should listen when you are listening. So, what are the four steps of listening? Anybody? Test, so test must no, I am test master. <laughs> First step is asking questions. Listen to understand is the base of everything. Ask question was second point, first question was first point. Give attention. Give attention. Acknowledge, nod by saying yes. Have a proper eye contact. Ask questions. When in asking question, you can use VAK also. Yeah. See, there is no step here. See, I am giving you all the ingredient. How do you mix it when you are sitting? It's all up to you. There is no step that first you have to do this, second you have to do this. It's a combination of everything which you will do there. You understand? There is no steps here. Then ask question, then paraphrase. So, when doing everything, you have to keep the first point in mind that is VAK. Next, you have to, you can, next point is mirroring. So, what is mirroring? Talking in his language, okay. Repeating in his his style, okay. Absolutely, body language also. I think you all of you have read my PPT, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so. When you have to mirror, the best thing is now you are very attentive, you are, you are attentive to, uh, attentively listening to him, correct? You are giving a focus on whether what kind of personality is, whether V, A, K, and all that. You are looking at his words very carefully. Whatever three words which you feel important, please repeat it without even worrying what they are. When you are acknowledging also, that is what? When you are acknowledging also, use those three words which he has already used in the way he has used. No, I agree will not work. And first thing is never use I. That is the end. What I am saying is in between, when it is happening now, like, like sir is sitting, so sit in the same way sir. So, what is your name, sir? Pradeep. 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 So, what do you do, sir? Financial planner and a corporate trainer. Financial planner and a corporate trainer. Excellent. Great. And we can learn a lot of things from you. Yes. So, what all happened here now? You sat in his chair. You repeated these words. Yes. So, it can be like this. And it should not, as I remember, sir, it should not look like acting. So yeah? It has to happen very subtly. I mean, Basavaj. Vijay, when I say Basavaj, you are calling my father. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you see, uh, somebody who can intellectually lift himself or herself. Sorry, intellectually? Lift himself or herself ha. to adopt these methods, ha. it's good. But I have seen many people doing the same thing with me, and I don't like it. Ah, okay. no, I don't know. So then we are not doing it in the see. That is see. I I I I request you. I I request you. I request you. We are talking. What can I do? I am not bothered what the other person is doing. Unless you see, it will. Unless you come to this side. Unless you analyze yourself. How can I use it? If you that's why I said don't give certificate to others. I started with this that you are a good negotiator, you are not good negotiator. You are giving a certificate to others now. Please do not do it. You will, I am telling you your takeaway from this program will be zero. These kinds of structuralization or this kind of methodology, methodological or following this type, type of steps, it will become cliche unless until that person is, is, is Need to go above the cliche. 
So that's what I'm trying to So when to you say cliche, can you explain what is so that? Like this, you said no, you repeated no. This happens with me all the time. Okay. RNs come and they do it. <laughs> 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 and it won't lead anywhere. Huh. You see, you may say that I'm trying to point out that. No, I'm no. trying to do that. Huh. I'm not trying to do that. I'm saying that I get hit by these kinds of authorizations or this kind of communication day in and day out. Okay. For me, it's a cliche because I know it, it, they don't mean Sir, it. Sir, I cannot comment until unless I am there or seen it. It is very difficult to comment. Yeah, as I as I started saying, if it is becoming acting, if it becomes so noticeable to him, it will not have no, it will not, it will not be any use. Oh. It's all up to you or me. How can I use it subtly? As I told you, it has to be sparingly done. If he is saying sound and every word I am putting sound, 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 sound. <laughs> so what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so it is a, sir, that is what I am trying to say. He, see, what we are trying to say, he, the person who is doing with you may not be a good negotiator. Now we are talking on that. It is none of our business. Here we are trying to understand how can I be a good negotiator. But I, am I going in the same path is what I am going That is, that you only have to tell me. The point I am trying to answer myself. Yeah, that is the right thing. You have to, have to answer yourself. The sincerity issue here. Sometimes, in your communication, the sincerity, whether it's obvious or not. <coughs> <coughs> whether he is a good negotiator or not, we, we do none of our business now to discuss. Yeah. But it, it, it will happen like that if the person is overusing it, overutilizing it. Yeah. Are you a critical evaluator of that situation also puts into that? Be, be honest with the discussion. Don't give your mind. Being honest is very important there. You have to be honest and it should not become like a drama. Yeah. And these are well researched, well uh, studied subjects which people use in hostage situation, people use in international negotiation. Imagine now international negotiations are like diplomatic negotiation. For example, Doklam, uh, right? Doklam, right? These are all been used, I'm sure. But both are equally good negotiators, right? They understand each other what they are doing. I mean, do you remember what? Uh, there is a particular sentence which came when I'm sorry, I don't remember the conversation. It happened between. The Ajit Doval and the Chinese counterpart. Yeah. So how cleverly they are using everything. And Chinese didn't have any answer, being so expert in negotiators and communication communication. They were equally good, but they didn't have an answer to this. Yes? So it all depends on how I am present there. If I am not present there, I will lose all the cues. When I lose all the cues, it becomes just a drama. Of course, it will become a drama. Yeah? So, body language, we can mirror the body language very subtly. It is not that half, I mean, if you are sitting half an hour, I always sit, when he change it, I will change it like this. He will change it, I will change it like this. I am sorry, nothing will happen. He say, ha ha ha, I will ha ha. They say, what? Pagal <laughs> aage huh? It will become a natak. These are the tools, how you use it. Okay. It all depends on you, how subtly you can use it. And that requires a mastery. As I told you, you can immediately start applying it, but to get a mastery, of course it will take time. <laughs> yes. What I feel is, if you are involved so much, subconsciously you follow that. Exactly. Exactly. If you are present at that time, and which is a difficult thing to do, it is a difficult thing to do. We are trying to bring sir here, sir is always remembering his subordinates. Mm -hmm. Sir, is it important to have introspection in relation to coming good, to become a good communicator? That is before the negotiation starts. Before this part, definitely. If it is in relation, definitely I must ask one more question to you. Please, you can ask 100 questions, sir. We are there for that only we are assembled here. You see, uh, where do you place our language skills in the whole set of negotiations? Because you see. Uh, where do you place in the sense? Language skills. Right? Where do you place in the sense? Where do you place the negotiation skills? The language skills, the negotiation uh, 
framework or whatever you want to call it as. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, now I may be doing it, I, for a long period of time, I was not speaking in English, I was speaking in Kannada. Okay. Oh. Right? Then, so is the case with many so of my... Can you say to you that uh, talking in Kannada is not communication? No, uh, not that. I, I would like to talk to you. Kannada dal maata bodo, Kannada dal maata bodo. Allah, but you impress it, Kannada dal maata bodo communication. Allah, you use maati English and maata bodo. Maata bodo, sir. You mean, other way you use maati. Ah, why is the language used for us, sir? But is it, a, is it a relevant thing? Let, let's suppose somebody speaks only half broken English and I'm trying to negotiate with him in good English. Ah. And then he will, say, he will keep on saying it sounds good, sounds good. So is it, is it right? <laughs> 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 Correct, sir. Correct, sir. What is happening here is, I am trying to bring him, sir, come this side. He is only, I will go this side only. <laughs> sir, let's, let's see it like this. What, I mean, I'll let, this is coming, this example is coming to top of mind, I am telling you. So if you join army, they are, they are teaching you how to shoot it first. Now you are thinking, no, no, if they have something else other than this, what I will do? If they have come with a the talk, then what I will do? If they come up with something else, what I will do? What I'm trying to say is, let's learn this first property, whatever in the hand, then we'll think the scenarios. There are many scenarios I told you. I, I would invite you to join my program on October 1st, 2nd, 3rd, to discuss everything. <laughs> <laughs> so can I take the confirmation? <laughs> somebody comes in front of me who is a half broken English, it's a hypothetical <laughs> situation. <laughs> sir, I am doing it sir, on first second. <laughs> so how many nominations from this group? I will give a discount also, on this spot. Okay, are you with me in this? Sir, are you with me? Yeah. Because taking along with you is very important for me. No, no, no. I keep doing this. Sir, so I really thank him for asking all the questions because the, the way he is asking is giving more clarity to us. Sure. Yeah? If he doesn't ask those questions, I really don't know whether how many people are understanding or not understanding. Thank you, sir. Give me a big hand. <laughs> Labeling. The other part. See these these points. Whatever I am telling you, it's it, these are from the. These are all have been used by terrorist negotiator. You know, in that kind of scenario, where there is a kidnapping. <coughs> these are practically used and vetted out process. I am telling you. There may, if you Google out, there are many things you will come to know about negotiating. You will get a step by step. I don't know how much you can use it. But this one, what I am giving you is the, the class process I am giving you. Used by FBI, used by 
all American agencies, top agencies, used by Israeli top agencies, all the people use this. So, this is what I am giving you. And the Chris was actually come up with this process. Yeah, of course, I have blended his process with something else also, so that it can be customized to you as an audience. Yeah. So, when what is labeling? Labeling means when they say something, right, you can label their emotion, emotion irrespective of whether it is a positive or negative. Yeah, for somebody he is very passionate, you he is very passionate, you can see a passion in him. So, you can, you can say that, sir, you are very passionate about what you are doing. to just label it. I wish I would have showed you certain videos where you actually see it happening, then the appeal will be more to you. But I am telling you, for the today's purpose, just take it at a face value and use it and check how it will um, give you a result in your day to day conversation. And for example, if somebody is sad, if you say you are looking sad sir, will it not produce an empathy or empathy in him? Will, it, will he not feel good about it when you label that emotion? The same thing happens in conversation, negotiation. Suppose if somebody is not giving you a talk, he is like, nay, 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 oh guy, this is very costly, this is this, this is that, this is this. You can, you can, you can label it saying that, sir, I feel you are very concerned about something, sir. Because he is giving lots of ifs and buts, ifs and buts, ifs and buts to you. So, it seems like you are very, you are concerned about something. You just try this, he will open up. Or somebody you are, you are signing a say, uh, you do you have any child plans which you sign, right? So, if he is signing a child plans, he is talking very passionately, but he is not giving you the money, he is only talking passionately, right? So, you can say, I admire the way you plan for your child, I really admire the kind of planning and the passion you have towards planning, sir. Try these words always labeling of others emotion will, he will lower down his defense. So, what is happening? There is a wall, right? We have to make a passage through the walls. Either you can remove your bricks in the sense, you can lower down the price or you have to allow or persuade him to remove his bricks or his points, right? So, when you label these things or so when you use VAK or when you use mirroring, Automatically, he will start removing one, one by one his bricks. He will start lower, lowering his defense. You can, his, he will become off guard suddenly, because as when you keep using it, you will start creating a trust in him. All these things will start creating a trust in him. Because whenever somebody is listening to you, the first thing what you will feel? If I am listening to you very carefully, if I am listening to you, I am nodding, ah sir, how the sir, hage sir, okay sir, oh author like the sir, oh sab kuch hua sir. So, what do you will feel? You will feel good, you will instantly connect the rapport. So, once you connect the rapport, the person will lower down his guard. So, that is what you want, please. Sometimes you write to the person through email. Yes. So, that this technique is how it will apply in those kind of situations. Thanks for asking that question. Give me a big hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you are, the rules remain same. Maybe certain parts you can use it, certain part you cannot use it. And suppose you have met him once, then you are writing the email. Then, what word you are choosing? You have assessed him in certain way. Suppose you assess him predominantly is an auditory person. Then you are saying, look here sir, you are not going by your observation. So, definitely it will put a limitation to you in terms of communicating to him, but you can still use it. Have I answered your question sir? Yes sir. It is not trust, it is the mistrust that comes. You are a so and so, the Rajin CTI guy is interrogating. 
whatever be the thing, he is going to say that you are a crook. That you have seen in film? No, <laughs> in practice. In practice, okay. You in practice, because I used to help them in their financial frauds. Yeah. So that time, the first thing, whoever it is, you are a chore. The, they start with that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. this process, mm -hmm. there is another process to this. You are right, there is another process to it. What they say, most of you have a Impression, impression that uh, when somebody is like you are negotiating with somebody, you have to get S, right? You have to guess S. You have to get a guess from him. Yeah. This is another process where you will start with no. No. Uh, there is another process altogether where you will. It can be anything. I really don't know where it was, but if I go back and uh, if I try to uh, see wh what process he is trying to apply. There is a process where you will start with a no rather than a S, because in S, thanks for, I mean he went, uh, <laughs> in S there are three type of S, one is counterfeit S, okay, like somebody calls me and says sir blah 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 sir there is insurance, I say yes, 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 you can call me 530 in the evening, I am busy now, what that S is? So usually what first S you give? It is a counterfeit S. There are many three S's like this. So if you have to get the real S, you have to start with no, that is another process. You have to make him start with no. Why you make him start with no? Because there is again a psychological way of looking at it. When I say no to you, I am in control. When I say no to you, I am the boss, right? to make the that crook fellow or whoever is in front of him as he was explaining. So they try to make him, feel, uh, try to give him a feel that he is in control of the situation. So this is another process. I really do not know what, what he spoke, but there is another process like this. Yeah. Yeah. There are many things like this, of course. Are you with me? Is it interesting? Is it uh, applicable in day to day life? Yeah? Sounds good? <laughs> See, now I really like it. Everybody smiled and laughed at it. So it means that you are giving attention. It seems that is one you can use it, right? It looks like it's again. What are these? VAK. VAK. Yeah. So when you are using the labeling, also you can use VAK. Yeah. So never ever use I. Like somebody in between say, I understand. No. The moment you say I understand, you are building. You are putting another brick in the wall. When I say I understand, it, it, it's very clear in his mind. They start giving a resistance. So never ever bring, just be very neutral. And because many of the time you say it seems like this, blah blah blah, you say, and they say it is not like that. Then what you will do? Then you can go back and say, I only said it seems that, sir. Thank you that you are uh, I mean educating me, it is not like that. Thank you, sir. So you have to have that room to confront with him. And when you are doing this, we are not agreeing with the other party at all. This is not equal to agreement. We are not agreeing. We are just trying to assess and say whatever he is saying. That is all. Nothing like that. It is not ego. It is for you to understand. See, again I we are going to that part. We are not worried about that part. We do not know what is actually happening there. Because there is something called map and territory, you know, I mean, which is constant in map and territory. Map is constant. How many people say map is constant? 
map madam india map china map map is constant how map is con sir is also saying map is constant oh. neither are constant neither are constant my god <laughs> Territory can change. Okay. Map is not constant. India map before 1947, how it was? Territory is what is actually there. Territory is territory. What is there, right? Territory is what is there. Map is will keep changing. So I really don't know his map. I really don't know your map. What you are thinking when you say certain, like he says, sounds to goods. I really don't know how it sounds to him. God knows. But I will use it the same word in the same tone so that it can fit in his map. Understand? So my map is different, his map is different. It's again a big subject. Yeah, Andhra and Telangana map. It keeps changing, it keeps changing. Again, it's a big subject. Yeah. Thanks for asking it, sir. Who asked it? Who asked that? How that point came? I forgot actually. Understood? Yeah. So be aware that he has a different map in his head, and we really don't know what is that map. We only have to play to that map, and the cues what he has is his body language, his words, his tone. And we have to exactly use that in our, without changing the subject of our talk, we have to borrow those things and fit in our conversation. Once you fit in those in our conversation, automatically he will feel whatever he has to feel in his map. We do not know that. Like I am saying feel, he may not feel, he may hear, he may see, we do not know what is that. Clear? Any questions sir? Anybody? Is it interesting? So when you are saying something in terms of labeling, yeah, you can have a, you can say as a statement. Statement is a flat tone, very flat tone. Or you can use a question, upward inflection. Yeah, please. Sometimes you label the first one himself because no. So yeah, thanks for bringing that point. We are not saying to label the person. What I said, label the emotions. And uh, thanks for bringing that point. When we, and especially with children, we do this. We label the children. I mean, with a good intention. My son is very intelligent. He is very hard working. These are labels. Never ever give these labels to ch child. It because these things put a lot of pressure on the child to perform again and again. He may not want to perform again and again. Leave it to his choice. You want that he has to come first every time, not he or she. Yeah? So these labelings will kill his masumiyat. What do you call in English? I am not getting a word. No, childish innocence. Yeah? Childish innocence it will kill. Or negative part, you are very notorious. To kuch kaam ka nahi hai. These are labels. <coughs> so do not give these labels. So, Thanks for bringing that point. Not the person, only the emotion for that point. Am I clear? These one month sentences are a big, big programs. Yeah, upward inflection. Somebody says, uh, take any conversation. Like you said, you, you what you said? You repeat what you said. Sometimes you label the person. Then after that, you will be interacting with that perception that you created about that. Actually, listening to that. Sorry, sorry. You will be creating the perception? Yeah. And you will be talking to that perception rather than hearing to that what he is speaking. Hearing to, rather than hearing to what he is speaking, he will? Oh, he is an aggressive person, so he must be telling something wrong. So aggressive person. So if you have labeled. Like that. Aggressive person? Giving an example. Example, like giving an example. Okay, so now if she noticed it, yeah. So I was doing exactly the same thing with you. When I used your words, how beautifully he went on explaining me one very unconsciously. I didn't ask him to explain. I just used it. 
he went on explaining it if i had kept doing it he would have he would have went on and on and on and on am i right sir see how beautifully it played let's i asked him please talk something so that we can converse so this is what you can do with a client so either you can use a flat tone or the question so uh, upward inflection upward same same word when you have upward in inflection it sounds like a question like when he said basavaraj i would have said basavaraj so it's like question <laughs> you're calling my father yeah you're addressing my father thank you sir any doubt so far any doubt so far valid that's why i not made that point but you're actually negotiating a price say some with a customer right you want him to make a mistake so raise his temperament make him angry and then immediately propose see what happens there is a full fair chance that he will do a mistake country and this guy said how many days you are here he very innocently said seven days right six days the other guy made him to travel i mean he gave him a blast he made his life like wow heaven he gave him a heaven six and half days then while going in the airport he started a negotiation the other guy because his deadline was coming up but it works both way because most of the time think i only have a deadline but the other person also has a deadline so it works both way but most of the time i think the deadline is only a deadline is only on my head and i end up making mistake so that you can use it for number sir i gave you i gave you the point don't negotiate with him when you have large amount of time pilao khilao sab kuch karo end mein ye tera number hai le lo bas ho gaya Sometimes somebody can be at a, a, a advantage 
to other person who's negotiating. That's just a perception, sir. It's like is there a concept called alpha doll where somebody dominates the conversation and the person who is using all these skills will dominate in respect of what position he is. If you are skillful enough to skillful enough to use this, irrespective of whether he is your boss, whether he is in, in position he is your upper hand, that does not matter. That's why I didn't bring this point. Yes, I know. Yes, yes. When he said, you have to understand. Most of the time, you're getting counterfeit. Yes. Yes. So this is your point, sir. Caution, sir. Caution. Natural. It has to be natural conversation, yeah. You read my all that PPT. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I am uh, listening to a presentation on negotiation, I have attended few online courses but uh, not this kind. So which was better, that or this? <laughs> no, that's like one sided, so I have to take everything. Tick mark. <laughs> okay, this ends the session for today. I timed it right. <laughs> anybody, if you are asking a price, so anybody want to attend, please contact me. My contact number is. Yes. Hi, chair. You can mail me on <coughs> yes, yes, sir. Can share it. I share it. Yeah.